creative ways your clients can gift their boudoir photos. Every photographer needs a blog post about this. Here are five creative ways your clients can gift their boudoir photos to their partner. It's showtime. Hello, my name is Mike Lloyd. I am a professional boudoir photographer. And one of the things that I love most about what I do is that the photos are only one part of the experience. You have the entire photo shoot, which leaves our clients walking out of here feeling like a rock star, but the photos themselves are just part of the deliverable. The way we present the photos is also some of the magic. It's like going to a really nice restaurant and all the food is just like chopped up and thrown onto a plate. And you're like, well, I'm sure this tastes really good, but it doesn't look that cool. Whereas if you get a really cool presentation with it and somebody sets it down and the table is all dressed up nicely, it creates a much better experience, even though they're the same food ingredients. That's what we can create here as photographers and help our clients deliver those images to their partners. So here are five creative ways that your clients can deliver their boudoir photos to their partner. Firstly, they could bring them to the image reveal. Number two, they could sneak some of the photos in their partner's suitcase or briefcase. Number three, you could plan a romantic date night and deliver the images then. And I got a pro tip for you when that one comes up. Number four, present it over multiple days, like a 12 days of Christmas sort of thing. And number five, make a scavenger hunt. Number one, bringing the partner to the image reveal. Now, if you do same day sales, this could work really well, and I'll tell you why. But if you don't do the same day reveals with your clients, still totally cool. So if you do same day reveals, what I like to do is encourage my clients to tell their partner they're planning a special date night out, and they're gonna go get their hair and makeup done ahead of time, which is when we're actually doing the shoot, right? And then they're gonna meet their partner at the restaurant. So they leave the studio, they're totally made up, ready to go on their date. They show up at the restaurant, meet their partner, have a great dinner. During dinner, they say, hey, by the way, right after this, I've got somewhere special to take you. I've been out doing this photo shoot and I want you to come help me pick out the pictures. And you know, they can disclose that it's a boudoir session or whatever kind of shoot it was if they want, or they can totally keep it a secret, it's up to them. Uh, but just building some of that anticipation. And nine and a half times out of 10, when the partner has come to the image reveal with them, they're just like drooling over all the photos. They want everything. They can't believe how crazy beautiful their partner is. And it's just a really, really cool experience. The only times I've had it not go well is when my client uh, has a very insecure partner. And it's usually not about the photos themselves. It's about the money. I've had a couple of partners tell their clients, you know, like, we really don't need these. You're already beautiful. I don't see why you're doing this in the first place. Just not being supportive, kind of being a jerk about it. And it's really hard to see that. So part of this is when I'm talking to my clients, I prep them and just say, hey, you know, I don't know what your relationship is with your partner and how you talk about money or, you know, even how they support you emotionally. But these are some things that you can do to help prepare them for it. One, either say, you know, this is totally my thing. I'm paying for everything. So everything I pick out is 100% for me. Uh, I just want you to help me pick out the photos. Or if they are actually both paying together just to be upfront and... So, you know, this is something very special to me. I'm excited to share it with you. This is really important and make it work because the partner didn't go through the photo shoot experience. They didn't get their hair and makeup done. They didn't get to see themselves in the back of the camera and feel that same emotional charge that our clients do. So something to consider, but again, nine and a half times out of 10, it's totally fine and everyone has a great time. Number two, you could surprise them by sticking it in their suitcase or briefcase or backpack or whatever people carry with them these days, especially if they're going to go out of town. So maybe your client has a partner going away on a long work trip. So they do the photo shoot, get the album, get the image folio, get whatever it is that they're going to gift them and just sneak it into their suitcase, double check things for their partner to make sure everything is packed and then let them get out the door because then they're going to get to their hotel or wherever they're staying. They're going to be unpacking things and then they're going to find the surprise, which will be a wonderful surprise when they're not able to be with their partner. Number three, plan a romantic date night. So if you're not doing same day reveals, you can still sort of get the same effect or have your clients plan a date night with their partner and they can go get hair and makeup done if they want to, but either way, they're going to go out to a nice restaurant. They're going to, you know, maybe where they went for their first date, something really romantic. And then maybe they booked a hotel, they're staying in a resort, maybe they went out of town or they're just going to come home. Candles lit, 
very romantic evening. And this is an opportunity to, you know, have the partner sit on the couch like, hey, I'm going to go grab something, which a million thoughts are going to be going through that person's mind, right? So then they come out with this gorgeous gift wrapped bag because that's how I deliver my images to my clients. And then they can open the things together and present the photos, which is pretty cool. And I promised a pro tip, have your client wear one of the outfits from the photo shoot in like at, at that romantic date night. So if they had a favorite lingerie set from their photos, have them wear that under their clothes. So when they present the images, they're in the outfits from the photo shoot. Number four, give the gift over time, like a 12 days of Christmas sort of thing. So if your client only gets a photo album, you're obviously not going to have them rip pages out or just show one page at a time. You could, but it's not as cool. Instead, they could do a folio box where you have individually matted print or even with digitals. This works really well. And your client will just give one every single day for 10 days, two weeks, one week, whatever they decide is an appropriate amount of time. And then, you know, maybe grand finale, all the rest of the photos on the final day. So again, this is a fun way to send those sneaky photos while the partner is at work once a day on their lunch break, something like that, or they could come home from work or wake up to something new, you know, Santa visited, and there's something new on the nightstand every night for them to check out. That could be a really fun way to deliver the photos. Number five, make it a scavenger hunt. So if they order multiple products, you could do this. Or maybe the scavenger hunt leads them to different parts of the house or different parts around town if you're doing it together. And each spot is like, you know, somewhere you can go for a glass of wine and then somewhere you go for an appetizer and then maybe a lingerie boutique to pick out a new outfit. And then you end up back at a place and they're they're having to follow these clues to figure out where to go next, even though the client already has the whole thing figured out. And then they end up in the location where the photos are. Or you could do it around the house also. And maybe you've hid an image folio somewhere and the album somewhere and a, you know, thumb drive of the digitals in one other place or things like that. It could be a ton of fun, uh, an activity to do together, or your client could be the final item on the scavenger hunt list where they have the photos. So their partner has gone out to do these other different things. The clues take them to the part or to your client at the end and they can present the photos there. So there you go. Five creative ways for your clients to creatively gift their boudoir images to their partner. Number one, bring them to the image reveal. Number two, stick the photos in a suitcase or a backpack when they are traveling. Number three, plan a romantic date night. Number four, present it over time, like a 12 days of Christmas. And number five, do a scavenger hunt. I've got some other great videos on this channel about what to actually sell our clients, what kind of products to present them so that they can buy these amazing gifts to give to their partners. So be sure to check out those videos as well. Also, in theboudoirguild.com, I have some great thorough trainings on how to set up your price list, what to sell, how to do IPS, to take all the guesswork out of this so you can just copy my formula, start making more money, sell better products to your clients, and everyone leaves happier. So again, boudoirguild.com, and I will walk you through step-by-step how to do all of those things. So you are amazing. We'll see you inside. 